Mouse TV, myself the Orkane, welcome back to Toy Talk Tuesday, hope everybody is good. I'm going to be on television. I'm going to be on television. That's what I'm talking about in today's Toy Talk Tuesday. Now this is something that I've not been able to talk about for a while. Not because I'm on Game of Thrones new series or Mandalorian or anything like that where you've got to keep all the spoilers to yourself and you're uh, contracted and stuff like that. It's nothing like that. But I, I wasn't allowed to talk about it because you're not allowed to talk about this show that you're on it publicly until it like gets announced and things like that. And it's just recently been announced the actual scheduling scheduling of when it's going to be on TV and stuff like that. So I can talk about it, but I've also got to be careful about what I talk about on this show because um, I don't want to not give away any spoilers, but I don't want to talk about everything that happens on the show. I'll talk about that when I do a follow-up to this episode when the show's actually aired and I can talk about it. So... I love doing things like this. I love doing it. I, I love doing anything to do with TV or filmmaking and stuff like that and always jump at the chance to do it. If you don't know, I'm not just a toy collector. I'm actually a toy collector purely by hobby. I'm an illustrator by trade. That's my job. But I'm also a filmmaker. I directed a whole movie. You can actually go and buy it now in HMV. It's called Unit 11. Me and my friend spent 10 years making this thing. And very much like YouTube... The YouTube channel that I do, I directed it, I acted in it, I did all the costumes, the special effects, I edited the whole thing. It's something that took me 10 years to make with my friends all the way through my 20s. And if you watch it back now, lots of it does look very amateur, but we were just working out how to make a movie. So off the back of making that movie, I'm now just about finishing my second movie. So whilst I'm doing all this YouTube stuff, I'm also making movies and working in film and stuff like that. So it's very different to TV. And I'm going to talk about the, the differences between it and stuff like that in a minute. But it's toy related. And that's why we can talk about it on Toy Talk Tuesday. I'm going to be on a new toy TV show called Scouting for Toys. Now it goes live on the 31st of March in a few days. And it's eight episodes, I believe. Eight one hour episodes. The only thing is, I don't know which episode I'm on. I don't know which one I'm going to be on yet. I might know by the time this video's out, so check the description below, or I'll, I might put like one of those banners across the screen or whatever you can do just to say what date it's actually going to be on, what episode it's in. But I'm in one of eight episodes, and it's a new show called Scouting for Toys. It's made by the BBC, and it's going to be on that Freeview channel called Yesterday. It's next to Dave and all those kind of channels. It's on at 9 o'clock at night, and it starts on the 31st of March. So I don't know which episode I'm going to be in, but from what I know, they covered so much of the UK toy scene on this thing and there's going to be lots of people in there no doubt people that you recognize I, I know a couple of people that's involved in it but there's but chances are there's going to be so many people involved in that show that I recognize when I watch it and, and so are you too and I've been approached a few times by TV and stuff like that but it's always been something that's like oh we saw you did toys but will you also do this when they think that you're a bit of a character they kind of feel like they can just get you to do anything so I recently got asked to go on a TV show I'm not even going to say what it will is because it sounds awesome but when I actually spoke to the producers they, they was pretty unclear on what they wanted me to do on it and stuff like that and I'm not about going on TV and making it an idiot of myself so I turned it down and um Sometimes you do have to turn these things down because I like to know everything. So before I say yes to any kind of opportunity, I, I like to go, okay, what I'm, what do you want me to do? I don't know what I don't just want to turn up to a TV studio and then they get me, getting me to do something that I don't feel comfortable doing because that's not what we uh, agreed on. So there was recently an opportunity that I turned down, but this particular one that's going to be aired this month, I jumped for joy when they asked me to do it. This is basically a show that centers around the toy auction Vectis that's up in Middlesbrough. So it's a show all about Vectis and then they film people going to that toy auction. And most of the people, from what I understand, are at the toy auction for a particular reason. So when the producers got in touch with me, they said, look through the listings on the auctions and if there's anything in that auction that appeals to you or is part of what your brand is and stuff like that, they was very accommodating of what I'm into and stuff like that. And they said, if there's anything in the auctions that you feel represents you and has a good connection to you and your collection and stuff like that then we'd love you to let us know and there was something in there i won't say what it is i don't even want to ruin the episode but there was something in there that was very much up my street um so i agreed to do the show so they came to my house filmed all my toy collection had a real good sit down with them and actually made pretty good friends with the cameraman and the other and his uh and his team member that was with him at the time and the producer of the show and stuff like that stayed in touch maybe one day we'll do more stuff i don't know i'd love to have my own tv show going around toy hunting and stuff like that that would be amazing maybe this plants the seed for something like that further on down the line nothing's been said but you never know i like to live optimistically so i did this uh this whole thing and it was a good couple of days filming and i don't really want to say too much about what happened on the show but 
the difference between doing something like this and then filming my own YouTube videos is that I have no control over how the edit goes down. So if I'm doing one of these Toy Talk episodes and I say something that I think sounds stupid or I don't like the way that I look or I don't know, there's, there's a, a, a hair on my shoulder, a dog hair or something, I can edit it out, I can refilm it, I can re-say things again, I can chop bits out that I don't like. When you're under contract and someone's filming you for a tv show you can't do anything you just turn up and especially when it's filmed live like this tv show was if you say something you don't like if you acted a certain way if your hair wasn't the way that you like it there's nothing you can do the the tv show edit that so the thing that i'm nervous about watching it back is that uh, i don't like how i come across and i have no control over changing it something actually happened when when we was filming the show that i wasn't happy with I wasn't happy with it at the time. Looking back, I don't care now. But at the time, something happened that I wasn't happy with. Um, and it was nothing that the TV show had set up. It was just a situation that I was in whilst they was filming me. And I don't like how the situation went, I suppose. Um, and <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm worried that I'm going to watch this show back and like completely not like how I come across. So at some point during the end of this month, you will be able to, or the start of next month, depending on what episode I'm on, you'll be able to laugh at me on TV, on this TV show. So that's the difference. When I film something for myself, I can edit it whichever which way that I want. When you're filming something for TV, there's nothing you can do. But it was a really good experience and I proper enjoyed it. And it was a real long day. Like when you see me on this TV show, especially when I'm at the auction, like I've had no sleep. We've had like three, four hours sleep. Me and Slacky went up. Slacky was in unit 11 and has featured on this, on this channel and has featured on this channel from time to time he drove me up so he's on the show as well and uh, we had like three hours sleep and then had to wait around for like nine hours until the auction lot that I wanted to take part in was uh, was live and stuff like that uh, but it was awesome and I really enjoyed it and I put a video up a few weeks ago on my uh, Instagram story with tons of old retro toys in boxes, like racks and racks full of them. And everyone were messaging me saying, oh, where is this? Everyone were dropping me messages saying, where is this? Where's the spot? Where's the hookup? And it's because I was at Vectis Auction, because I was filming with the crew there, uh, we got to go in the back rooms and see all the cool stuff that they had there. That's not even something that you're even supposed to have any kind of access to unless you work there. But we happened to do a little bit of filming in that area. So I just got a quick look at all that stuff. So that's why I was there. I couldn't say at the time, um, but it, that, that's basically what I was doing. I was at the Vectis auction. So they've got tons of stuff there. That's all people's collections that they put in and then the auction value woman stuff like that. But it could look to the <laughs> unbeknownst eye that we'd found some mad warehouse full of retro toys. So that's what it was. We was at Vectis. And it's the first time I'd been to the auction. There was some crazy stuff there. It was really good to see. And I couldn't believe how many auctions this this company actually do like every single day they're just pumping out auctions and when we was there it was like a 12 hour auction and we had to wait like nine hours until the lot came up that I was involved in but I'm going to keep you all updated when you can watch the show. I'll also put the trailer to the show in the links in the comments below so that you can watch the trailer. I'm not in the trailer. Um, I think the trailer very much focuses on the Vectis side of stuff. I didn't even see a lot of the other people that took part in the show because there must be lots of toy collectors and stuff that they filmed for it. When I was speaking to the guy that filmed me, he'd been like nonstop for those past few weeks every day in a different city filming someone's toy collection, filming them um, before they get to the Vectis auction and things like that. But basically how the formula works is that they come to my house they film on my toy collection they sit and talk to me and then follow me up to vectis auction and then whatever goes on at the auction they also film that for the finale um i didn't want it to be as well like that episode of gavin and stacy when mike finds a dead body and he tells everybody that he's going to be on the news and he's on it for like three seconds so that bit that i'm uh cautious about in the show where I don't like how I came across might not even make it but I'm pretty sure it will because it's tv and the slightest bit of drama that they can squeeze in I'm sure that they will but um I would love to do more stuff like this I love doing collabs on YouTube I love uh, jumping on camera and talking about toys and that kind of thing in any vicinity so I, I uh, jumped at the joy for it like I said I don't always uh, say yes to every opportunity that I get because you can't and especially when it's like the opportunity I got a few weeks ago where they asked me to go on a tv show but didn't even really tell me what they wanted me to do They're then I won't always do that. I like to know everything I'm going to do before I step into any situation. But this was one I was really comfortable with and had a great time filming it. So I'm really looking forward to you all seeing it. At this point, I'm not sure how I can actually get a recording of the show. I think you can watch yesterday that channel live on the computer, on the laptop, 
and if that's the case I can just get some screen recording software uh, and record it that way because I'll want to watch it back even if I hate it I want to watch it back and scrutinize myself and pick myself apart and do better next time I'm on camera but yeah that's what I wanted to talk about today I'm going to be on television so I will let everybody know via my Instagram and my YouTube the exact date and time that it's going to be on I'll keep trying to uh, ask the producers which day is it which episode it is that I'm on I just sent them another text now I've not spoke to them for a few weeks so I just sent them another text now because it was only today that I found out the actual schedule um, to try and find out which episode I'm on that so, you, so that you can tune in and watch it. But to be honest, if you're into toys, it's going to be a show that you want to watch anyway. It's called Scouting for Toys. It starts on the 31st of March at 9 p.m. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Toy Talk Tuesday. A little bit different from normal, but I like to keep this show pretty unstructured, Toy Talk Tuesday. I like to just talk about toys in general. One time we might talk about a specific subject, something that needs addressing. Sometimes we might just talk about this this figure we might just talk about this random he-man figure so it's toy talk tuesday and we just talk about toys and as long as we're talking about toys then it's a toy talk tuesday so let me know in the comments below if you're going to watch me on the tv show and if there's any like i said on my last episode if there's any other youtube channels that you'd like to see me do any collabs with and chop it up with any other people i'm always up for this kind of thing i love collaborating and i love talking toys with people so please bear that in mind when you drop the comments below don't forget to give this video a like if you haven't already binge the back catalog subscribe to the channel i do lots of cool stuff on here and like i said i'm gonna be on tv so you can, uh, you can laugh at me not only on YouTube and on TV as well. I'm also on Instagram. Go and laugh at me on Instagram at Theo underscore Kane underscore Slimehouse. I will be putting out the dates for the show on there, the exact date that I'm going to be on when I know it. And if I don't know it, we're just going to have to watch all the episodes. And knowing my luck, I'll be in the last one. But sometimes when you watch a TV show, the last finale episode is often the best. So maybe that'll be the case. Anyway, I'm rambling. Don't forget also, I'm on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Slimehouse TV. Like I said, all this stuff I do, I do it on my own. Like the filmmaking, like the YouTube channel, everything I do, I'm very much a one-man crew. I'm like the UK Robert Rodriguez. I'm like a rebel without a crew. I'm the one-man crew. And I have a very dedicated team that help me out when I need them. But for the majority of the time, I do everything on my own. So that Patreon money really does go a long way. And it helps make Slimehouse bigger and better than ever. Oh, I'm out of breath now. That was today's Toy Talk Tuesday. Don't forget to also drop your comments below for your suggestions for a future episode because I like to film these in blocks and bring one out every week. So I always need subjects to talk about on Toy Talk Tuesday. I'm going to catch you in the next episode. Until then, I'm gone. I'm Theo Kane. This is Slimehouse TV. Bye!